Supporters of the Black Lives Matter action vow to protect the lives of black people at all costs. A group of young people held a night vigil in Kailicha in support of U.S. citizens. They demanded better treatment for the black community in the U.S. The vigil comes after the fatal shooting of two young men last week in the United States. We will not tolerate the, the killing of black people in America or anywhere else in the world. And we have become aware now that the world we live in has become anti-black. Black people continue to suffer in the hands of the police. And so we are not going to sit down. Black people will have to take up the responsibility to defend themselves. And that is not something that is outside of the law. Every man and every woman in this world owes it to themselves to defend themselves from the attack and the onslaught that is... Uh, perpetrated against them. United against the atrocities on the black community of United States. This is a night vigil in Cape Town, the venue aptly declared a blacks only area. Under the Black Lives Matter flag, Cape Town stood in solidarity. Members from the Fees Must Fall movement too joined the campaign. Being a person who was there during Fees Must Fall and experienced police brutality and seen all of this, it is but natural but to take part and be part of a solidarity campaign against violence against black people because violence against black people happens whether you're a black student, whether you're a black person in America, whether you're a black person in Africa. They, they don't like us because they think that we will rob them. Maybe we'll rob them because we're poor. They make us their slaves because we're poor. We don't afford, so that's, that's not good. Strong views were shared over the killing of police officers in Dallas last week. It is godly to defend yourself from perpetual, insistent assault on you and on your family. The Black Lives Matter campaign has broadened the canvas for the debate on the issue. But the question remains whether an eye for an eye is the real solution to the crisis. Kevin Brandt, ANN7, Cape Town. Members representing the Black Solidarity in South Africa held a demonstration on Wednesday in support of the Black Lives Matter at the U.S. Embassy in Cape Town. The protesters were pushing for an end to police brutality against blacks in the United States of America. A similar demonstration against police brutality in Dallas was marred by death of five white police officers shot by a sniper over the death of two African Americans killed by police in Louisiana and Minnesota. The BSC as a collective stands with all oppressed black people internationally and sees the violence perpetuated against black people in America as a direct attack on black people universally. Since the beginning of the year 2016, more than 500 people have been killed by police in the United States, and the African Americans who represent only 13% of the population constitute more than 30% of the killed. The Black Solidarity Action Community demands the immediate withdrawal by the United States of America from South Africa. In 2015, statistics show that almost two black people died every week in the United States due to police brutality. Other, so other sources have found that in the U.S., a black person is murdered by police every 28 hours. In the context of black oppression, is further clarified when we note that there are more black people in prison today than there were slaves in 1850. The USA government has maintained the anti-black racist state that continues to see black people oppressed and enslaved within the white supremacist capitalist patriarchal society. Taking guidance from black consciousness, the BSC as a collective stands with all oppressed black people internationally and sees the violence perpetuated against black people in America as a direct attack on black people universally. Black solidarity, black 
solidarity and she notes that following the murder of brother Micah X. Johnson, at least four persons were arrested for supporting this revolutionary, uncompromising response to the American police's attack on black life. And others are being targeted and declared terrorists for doing the same thing. American white colonizers, however, are the true terrorists and land thieves. Black Solidarity Action further calls for the immediate release of the four arrested in relation to revolutionary Micah John Johnson and the decriminalization of his supporters. Black Solidarity Action commands the black community internationally for its principled commitment to black liberation. Calls on all to draw from the revolutionary response of Brother Micah X. Johnson and respond to the anti-black racist oppression by ending the world as we know it. Finally, the Black Solidarity Action community demands that the United States of America withdraws from South Africa until it stops killing black people in its own nation and across the globe. Israel, yeah. Africa, Israel, Ingolek, Go.